Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading episode 55 of the Marry My Husband. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of this episode. So if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. For anyone out there who wants to support me, um, I do have this read with no logo and no blurs. And also you guys can gain early access to all the free webtoon content that I'm able to read on my Patreon page, which is at patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. Ooh, I took a nap and I just woke up, so my voice is going to be kind of raspy. How dare you deceive your own mother? You ungrateful brat! Pardon me, but I can't let you do that to my precious daughter. Marry My Husband, Episode 55 Who the hell are you? And who are you calling your precious daughter? She's my daughter. Assistant Manager Ji Wong King is like a daughter to you and K Group. We've raised her longer than you have. Is she Ji Yuk's mother? That means she's Ger Guamran Cha, one of UK regional directors. Miss Cha, what brings you here? Ji Wan, go home and be with Ji Yuk. I'm going to have a little chat with your mother. Mr. O, oh, please give Ji Wan a ride home. Yes, ma'am. G1, help me! G1! Hey, stop right there! You you dare to you how dare you betray your own mother! <gasps> Let go of me! I thought rich people were cultured, but both you and your son are rude and disrespectful. What a great world we live in. A mother who abandoned her child is telling me about what it means to be cultured. You left your husband and your daughter. You don't deserve to be called a mother. What gives you the right to speak to me like that? Y you don't know me. Hugh Suk Bay, 52 years old. The man you're living with is Man Sik Jiong, 58 years old. The company he runs is in deep debt due to poor management. I guess it's no surprise since he used every trick in the book to embezzle company funds and evade taxes. He hired ghost employees, used dual contracts, and omitted revenue. You name it. Huh? Th this is ridiculous. T Not only will you face criminal charges, you will have to pay double or triple the amount of taxes you evaded. But you already have bad credit, and your boyfriend is about to receive a bad credit score, credit score as well. I get that you're strapped for cash, but how dare you pretend to be a loving mother to Jiwon? You abandoned her years ago. Whatever you say doesn't change the fact that Jiwon's my daughter. I gave birth to her. You gave birth to her. No, you, you were simply reckless. You didn't care about her all these years, and now you show up and to try and take advantage of her? So no, you don't deserve to be called a mother. W what do you mean, want me to do? Do you want me to promise to stay away from G1? I feel like I'm always having to spell out everything for vile people like you. Of course, I didn't come all the way here to talk about something so obvious. I'm here to give you a warning. Oof. Since you broke Jiwon's heart into a million pieces, you will ha always have to look over your shoulder from now on. Now wait a minute, ma'am. <laughs> Let's have a conversation about this. 
A conversation is something that happens between people, but you're no human. But <gasps> goodbye then. <laughs> Ooh, she done it now, guys. Shh. Huh? D oh. Huh. Oh, she's crying. Like, hard sobbing. I heard everything over the phone. Did she go see her after running a background check on her? Because you were afraid I'd get hurt? Were you also the one that asked Miss Cha for help? I didn't know that my mother had come to Korea. I only just found out through Mr. Oh. If my mom had just told me she was struggling and needed money, then I'll have given it to her and wished her luck. Why did she have to pretend like she was a caring mother, like she missed me and loved me? I knew it was too good to be true, and yet, like a fool, I... Or not a fool. I have felt the same way if I were you. No, I actually did feel the same way. To tell you the truth, Miss Cha isn't my biological mother. My biological mother died when I was really young. Then my father remarried. I got a stepmother and stepsister. Miss Cha is Hu Yun's biological mother. Gee. Oh, so the father has a type because they look alike. <laughs> because that she he she would pass on as their like his mother too you know because they and the sister looks very similar to him so i'm assuming the father has a type <laughs> Gee. one day when i was little the rain was pouring down much like today as usual i was waiting for my driver to come pick me up after school <sighs> strive for honesty and integrity all the school uh. Are you cold, honey? I'm sorry I'm late. That was the first day. I got a proper look at Miss Cha's face. She was wearing a suit for work and pretty heels. I remember she walked very slowly, even though her feet became soaked. Although we didn't share a drop of blood, she became my mother from that day on. I'm sure you also expected your biological mother to treat you with love and kindness too. It's not that you were a fool for hoping that. It means you missed your mother. You're the strongest, most incredible person I know. So please don't beat yourself up, Juwon. He's right. Thank you for telling me that. Your words give me courage, ji -yuk. I can protect and take care of myself. I have to go somewhere. Uh, right now? Where? To the prison. To end this once and for all. Twenty-six seventy-three. You have a visitor. Correctional facility rehabilitation for a brighter future. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh my gosh! She looks so skinny, and her face is like sulking in. Like <gasps> she has like dark circles. Whoa! Prison did not treat her f kindly, guys, and that's great. I'm kidding. <laughs> hmm. It's time to. Long time no see, Suman. Cut you out of my life completely. Wow. Okay, one. 
thank you to Ms. Cha for saying all the right things that we all as readers would love to say to Jiwon's mother, okay? And to unfold all her debts in front of her and be like, yeah, cut the crap. We know the truth. And her is like baffled, right? But I wonder at the same time, does Jiwon know now that Soomin and her are related because their parents are the one that are together, you know? But like, you know, as we know, Chi Hyuk and Ms. Cha know the mother's background, who she's dating, you know? But I don't know if they tied one and one together, but I would assume his dad with Ji Won's mother, you know? But here now, Ji Won is saying that she's going to say goodbye to Soomin forever. I wonder how, you know? How is she going to cut ties? Because Soomin will always find ways to look for her, you know? So it's going to be a good read. I can't wait for next week's. But all right, guys, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!